Are you feeling any better? Yeah, a little. Thanks. What are we gonna do now? I still have unfinished business with Dohalim. He's a world away from the Lord Balsef was. There's no need for us to fight him, Shion. In case you've forgotten, I Guys, don't... guys! I think something's going on outside. Kisara! There you are! What's happening? Kelvalik has started an insurrection. He's driving all of the Danans out of the palace. What? Has he lost his mind? What about Lord Dohalim? We don't know where he is, Captain. We thought... We thought maybe you would. No, I don't. I haven't seen him since we were inside the quarry. Damn. Well, either way, I wouldn't go near the palace. Any suspected Renan sympathizers are being arrested on sight. This whole thing is a powder keg about to explode. Best prepare for the worst. I knew that Kelzalit guy was bad news. I guess not all of the Renans here like the idea of coexisting with the Danans after all. So this is it. This is the real Menencia. Are you giving up? On what? This realm is already finished. It perished along with my brother's dream. That's a shame. And I guess all the people who believed in that dream are on their own out there, aren't they? Not all of the Renan sided with Kelzalik. There's still hope, Kisara. Your brother's dream is only dead when there's nobody left who believes in it. Am I wrong? You're right. I'm going to the palace. I need to see what's happening there with my own eyes. Uh, what are you all doing? I thought it was pretty clear. We're coming with you. I appreciate the thought, really. But there's no need for you all to get involved in this. Tohalim said it himself, right? All of us, we're liberators. Thank you. We have to stop Sir Kelzalik. Don't you think it's about time you drop the Sir? <sighs> he always treated us Danans with such warmth and kindness. Did he have such bad intentions all along? I... I just can't bring myself to believe it. Forget about intentions. We should assume he's the one who's behind all these incidents. It's not surprising to me that there are Renans and Menencia who resent Dohalim, but I didn't expect one would be so close to him. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. I guess all of us here in Menencia are still some way off from being a truly united realm, aren't we? Are you going to be okay, Kisar? <sighs> I don't know, but I definitely don't want things to end like this. Please, lend me your strength. Of course. Anyone who tries to oppress others is our enemy, and we'll gladly stand against them. Besides, I want to believe that this realm really can do better, too. This place is awfully quiet for a siege palace. 
such a huge place is spooky without all those people here. They're probably waiting to ambush us. With so few Renans here, I guess this is what it's like when the Danans are expelled and the ruling minority are all that's left. My money's on them using Zoogles to even the odds. I don't even see any Danan guardsmen. The fact that they're not at their stations tells me they really have been driven out. We all swore an oath of loyalty to Lord Dohalim. My fellow guards wouldn't abandon their post lightly. Speaking of which, where the heck is he? How could this be happening? Any idea where we should go in the main building? Let's try the Lord's Chamber. Worth a shot. wall open, can't you? Well, let's give it a try and find out! You sure about that? From what I hear, that thing can stop even a cannonball. On second thought, let's see if there's a release mechanism somewhere. Kisara, do you have any idea just what Kelzalik might be planning at the palace? It's hard to say. I've never seen him use any powerful arts, and I don't think he's particularly skilled with any weapons either. However, I have noticed him accompanied by something strange from time to time. What kind of strange? I don't know. I couldn't see anything with him, but I could sense something was there. Probably some sort of Zoogle. An invisible Zoogle? We'd better be careful in any case. I'd rather we not find out after it jumps us and tries to rip our throats out. Okay, so as soon as you enter this area, it warps you right to this door at the Lord's Chamber, which has a barrier on it. That enemy looks strong. I bet it'll be worth our while to fight it. We're in for a long slog with this one. Oh, oh, hey, you one, eh? Uh, uh, one shot. Should make for some good weapon crafting material. You know, the more I think about it, this palace is way too big for its own good. Tell me about it. Plus, where the hell were these soldiers and Zoogles all this time? Normally, the maybe the release mechanism is in there. All right, so right here in the office, you'll find a key to the noble room. Uh, and here inside the staff quarters, you will find one of the treasury keys. All right, here's what we get for our treasury keys. Okay, a new... This looks nice and tough. Some new armor and elixir, very nice. Statue of one of the previous lords, perhaps. So now we've got to use that noble room key. Hmm. Hmm. All right. 
All right, so the noble room ends up being a bust, and she tells you to check the meeting room or maybe the barracks. All right, in the barracks, all you find is a note that says, uh, when you occupy the palace, be sure and activate the barriers, and you'll know which room to leave the mechanism in. But there's really nothing to go off there, so I guess now we're checking the meeting room. All right, so now... What you find out from there is it circles you around finding these notes that send you back to the office to find a key in a cabinet. And that cabinet is here in this corner of the office. Did that finally get rid of the wall? To think they would hide it in Lord Dohalim's personal quarters. The nerve of these people. They won't get away with it for much longer. That's right. We have to hurry to the Lord's... Let's go. Well, well, if it isn't the slaves and the traitor, I don't remember giving you permission to enter the palace. So it's true. You really are the one behind all this, Kelzalik. I don't remember giving you permission to speak either. Know your place, slave. Now we see his true colors. Yeah. A despicable excuse for a human being. Though really, I guess that makes him pretty ordinary, huh? Kelzalik, you were Lord Dohalim's most trusted advisor. His closest ally. Why would you betray him? Don't be a fool. I didn't serve him because I wanted to. I expect a mere slave wouldn't know, but there are many powerful contenders for the position of Lord. A contest of strength determines the one who will be Lord and undisputed ruler of a realm. There is no choice in the selection. If my master had any ambitions of becoming the Sovereign, I would have gladly served him. But he had no intention of fighting for the crown. Indeed. Can you slaves even imagine how that looked to the rest of us? Enduring the whims of an ambitionless lord, all we could do was wait for the end as we suffered through our humiliation. You want suffering? Try being Danon for a day. So you plotted against Lord Dohalim in secret. And when my brother found out... And I would do it all again if it meant returning Menancia to its rightful state! A realm where Danons are slaves and Renans their masters. It's the natural order. It's... Enough! Who are you to decide what is natural or rightful, traitor? Miguel. My brother. He dreamed of building a world free of suffering. He gave his life for that dream. And all you've managed to build is a lake of death. You. You killed my brother. And now you'll die for it! All right then. My brother's dead because of you. Why should I concern myself with the passing of one pathetic slave? How do you look, James? It can hide it, though. It's amazing. Don't get a weak point. Draw your sword. Heal your blade. War with that good drop. Luna, where are you? Luna, this one's mine. Do it! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Into the shadow! Take this! Swallow Blade! Dragon Swarm! This one's mine! It's over! Tiger Blade! Dragon Swarm! Here's the more! It's gonna attack! Watch out! Dragon Swarm! One more! It's over! 
Slaves are despicable. Your dreams of attaining lordship are no more. Give up, Kelzalik. Attaining lordship? <laughs> Ridiculous. Only those who possess a master core can become a lord. <laughs> what did you think just anyone could do it? But then, what were you trying to accomplish with this? Didn't you betray your lord? Yes, that's true. However, there are other lords. Other lords? So you mean... As expected. At last, the truth is revealed. Doholim, where have you been this whole time? Cleaning up. Kelzalek, you've made your last of these. The fruit of Helgen? It can't be. You found my production facility? Correct. And I tore it down. But something still troubles me. It's clear that this is no ordinary fruit. Nor was the equipment used to grow it. You couldn't have done all this without outside assistance. Indeed. Something like this must have come from another realm. Sar, perhaps? You actually expect me to talk now? At this point, the contest for the crown will be over soon enough. And you will finally receive the punishment you deserve for your weakness. I've already received my punishment. <laughs> May this be my final act, as the Lord of Elder Men and Sia. <laughs> Go to Mahaksar, Ganeth Horrors, wherever you think you'll find a suitable lord. <laughs> Are you all right with this? He killed your brother after all. He did. But then I thought, he's nothing more than one common, ordinary Renan. He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> So after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What is that? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalik's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danan guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Where are you going? To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The crown contest impacts far more than just the Danans. 
You're choosing to fight Lenigus and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. So, you're gonna go out there and make that dream real on your own? You may be decided on your path, but that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Pardon? You heard me. We're fighting to liberate the Danans. You're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents side by side with a Renan lord? Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, where'd Kisara go? I don't see her anywhere. Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. That makes sense. She did just lose her brother after all. <sighs> we ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisara's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave. Oh, Dohalim, Rod Extension. When he perfect evades, his senses become heightened and his rod gains momentum, extending his range. Alright. I've heard he's pretty about? good, so to give him a go. I'm sure it Where did Kisara run off to? You don't think she took off after Kelzalik, do you? No. Nagal entrusted her with his dream. She wouldn't do something reckless like that. Right now, I think she just needs time to think. What she does from here on out is up to her. She has to be the one to decide. Hmm. Hmm. So one thing that's interesting right about here is that I've heard from quite a few people who have played who typically enjoy RPGs who say that they get bored with the game about this time and that... Um, that kind of shortly after this, the game starts to really get to the point where they kind of are just ready for it to be over. So it is interesting. It will be interesting to see if I feel that way soon. I've heard after you get through the third realm, a lot of people are like the game starts to kind of drag and um, the final area is kind of obnoxiously long, which is not uncommon for Tales games. I don't think I've played a Tales game where at the final dungeon it wasn't like oh, okay they could have done without this like they could have wrapped up without this weird weird end area that Kisara never came back to see us I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing where would she even go I hope this place survives you think the Danans and Renans have a chance of getting along we didn't really do much to change things around here did we this realm had its own walls to overcome and in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down. 
without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. <laughs> At first, they make you think she's talking to the cat. Looks like it's time to go. Or actually, she is talking Take to the good cat. Take care of Zare for me. <laughs> All right, Lagil. You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Megal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elda Menencia from outside the dream world. For the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part, that you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do. Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a Lord anyway. Well? This crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahagsar, the Valley of the Four Winds. 